So evaluating formal operations. So formal operations does not always happen to everyone. So it depends on the type of society that you're in. Societies that value scientific reasoning are more likely to experience formal operations and folks who go to college are more likely to use formal operations. But even then, some college students don't. It's something that generally develops later for some people. So what are some of the critical later evaluations that we have with Piaget? Um, basically, a lot of the stages that he came up with, they, most children do progress in this manner, but some children go a little bit faster or slower. And depending upon how we present the stimulus, we can get slightly different results. And there are cultural issues. So in different cultures, things may progress a little bit faster than in different places in the world. So in the Ivory Coast, folks tend to move through some of these stages a little bit faster than um, in France, for example. But not really a big deal. Everyone generally moves through those stages. So what are some other ways of looking at post-formal thought? So post-formal meaning after formal operations. So once we understand the basic components of logic, how does our judgment and our thinking evolve? So we're gonna start with this theorist. And basically what he is saying is that as you get older, your thinking can actually transcend logic. So I want you to think about um, a story that you've probably heard before, right? So let's say Lucy tells Bob, Bob, if you drink again, I'm leaving tomorrow night, right? And this goes back to logic. Logic would tell us that if Lucy told Bob that if he drank again and then Bob drinks again, what will Lucy do? So think about your answer. Okay, you have your answer? Okay. Now, most people who are in formal operations would probably say that Lucy would leave. But if you are in post-formal, you might think about that a little differently. So when I pose this in real life, folks will say, well, I know Lucy and Lucy is not going to leave. Or maybe you are Lucy and maybe you haven't left. I don't know. Live your life. Or maybe you're Bob. I don't know. Right? But this idea is that once we experience real life, we know that things are not always logical. Things don't always flow in that way, even when we understand completely how logic works. And this argument post-formal is that the adult world is really shades of gray. Okay, there's a lot of differences when we think about the adult world. So Perry's post-formal thought, we're still talking about post-formal, is basically saying that when folks enter college, they're more inclined to do something called dualistic thinking or basically thinking that things are either good or bad or right and wrong. And so as I've gotten older, I've been able to see this more in younger folks. And this is basically like people think their folks are either for them or against them. Okay, like this very black and white thinking. And as folks get older and they get more experiences, they again start to see greater shades of gray. And this realization that generally it's not about them and that there are more than simply good and bad. There are more ways to perceive or conceptualize the world in front of you.